yeah the next important topics is proptosis is another important topics you can put three star beside the proptosis i think you have seen the patient of proptosis how it looks like can you see the uh, picture of the child having proptosis yes please. yes this is proptosis protrusion of the eyeball this is important topics for your exam you might get question from proptosis um this proptosis uh, or exophthalmos these are synonym uh, what is this i said that it's abnormal protrusion of the eyeball it may be unilateral or may be bilateral or uh, sometime it's become very rapidly progressive or sometime it progresses slowly uh, first of all you have to know the causes of proptosis um in pediatric age group um tumors are the most common causes of proptosis like neuroblastoma retinoblastoma rhabdomyosarcoma uh, sometime optic nerve gliomas uh, may present with proptosis some cases of angioma hemangioma may also present with proptosis and uh, one case i have seen in my life cavernous sinus thrombosis may also present with proptosis and we read in endocrine chapter uh, many times that means thyrotoxicosis hyperthyroidism or thyrotoxicosis uh, may present with proptosis graves disease one of the feature of the graves disease is uh, proptosis those are the most common causes but when you investigate in your exam scenario um, when you uh, the scenario have shown that if any proptosis growing very rapidly very rapidly growing proptosis you should investigate this patient uh, rapidly you have no scope to ignore this condition as i said that in child age group uh, another important cause is uh, tumors or malignancy if you uh, mother if mother gave the history that the proptosis is growing very fast you should do ct scan or mri of the orbit ct scan is better uh, and i am saying why it's better because if you suspect any growth in the orbit in that case ct scan uh, it can ct scan visualize it better any erosion in the orbital cavity or any tumor it's well visualized in ct scan but uh, if the mother give the proptosis is growing very slowly uh, it's unilateral and growing very slowly in that case uh, you should suspect either it may be a vascular cause it may be a cause of hemangioma in that case you should go for mri contrast mri uh, or uh, you can do doppler ultrasound of the orbit uh, you can detect the hemangioma in this way but unilateral proptosis rapidly growing you should do ct scan of the orbit yeah, that's the important point if it's bilateral we should think it's endocrine cause like thyrotoxicosis or like that but it's unilateral or rapidly growing you should exclude malignancy first that's the important point you should memorize okay and then um, then another important topics is orbital infection in those two topics preceptal cellulitis or orbital cellulitis uh, these two topics came in the exam you have to know how you will differentiate between two points how will you differentiate orbital cellulitis how will you differentiate preceptal cellulitis or um, this one is called orbital this one is called periorbital another name is preceptal cellulitis is called pre periorbital cellulitis 
do you know how can you differentiate both have uh, lead swelling redness of the lead but how can you differentiate anybody knows Mm, yeah this is one point which one eye movement will be restricted and which one eye movement will be okay yeah yeah you are right you are right in case of orbital cellulitis it's painful condition eye movement will be restricted in orbital cellulitis uh, it's a painful condition but in preceptal cellulitis or periorbital cellulitis uh, eyeball uh, movement uh, will not be restricted as it's not so painful though both condition have swelling of the eyelid redness of the eyelid or might get redness of the conjunctiva also but it's better preceptal cellulitis but orbital cellulitis it needs urgent treatment okay you are right let's see how they present we have already read this uh, the organism stepto pneumonia staphylococcal or hemophilus may cause preceptal cellulitis in case of orbital cellulitis its orbital cellulitis occurs uh, under 5 years most commonly uh, but there is some other causes in case of orbital cellulitis you should search some other secondary causes like uh, there is is there any sinusitis uh, mostly ethmoidal sinusitis causes orbital cellulitis commonly yeah in case of orbital cellulitis you should find the other focus of infection and it's too much painful and the child appearance will be toxic in case of orbital cellulitis child have fever pain the child become miserable Hemophilus uh, influenzae type B is the most common organism in that case, in, in case of infancy. But uh, after infancy, other organism may cause orbital cellulitis, like Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, pneumonia, and some other organism may cause this. Uh, in case of orbital cellulitis, painful red eye, I said that lead edema, painful eye, and also you can get red conjunctiva that means conjunctival chemosis injector uh, um, conjunctival injection and preproposis also may present and uh, the child couldn't move the eye and child uh, general condition is miserable 